Assalam alaikum grade 5 I hope you all are fine Today we will study lesson our country from unit 2 geography of Pakistan In this video we will cover page number 35 to 37 Learning outcomes By the end of this lesson students will be able to compare and contrast the physical geography in different regions of Pakistan Discuss the significance and life of people in some major cities of Pakistan. Before starting the lesson, let's have a look of keywords. By knowing the meanings of these keywords, it will be easy for you to understand the lesson. Our first keyword is contrast, the state of being strikingly different from something else. Orchard, a piece of land planted with fruit trees. Occupation, a job or profession, ancestors, people related to you who lived a long time ago. Infrastructure, the basic system and services that a country uses to work effectively. Over here, the basic system means like um, transport system and services like electricity, water supply, etc. Illiteracy. Inability to read or write, custom, a tradition or common way of doing things. Students, as the name of this unit is Geography of Pakistan, let's find out what is the meaning of geography. Geography is a combination of two words, geo and graphy. Geo means earth and graphy means writing or representation in a specified manner so geography means the study of earth and its people places and environment students are you proud of your country can you name some things about pakistan that make you happy let us look at some of the things that make pakistan a wonderful country to live if you travel from one end of Pakistan to the other, you will see that Pakistan is full of contrasts. This means that some parts of the land are very different from others. To the south, you will see the stretch of the Makran coastline along the Arabian Sea. And towards west, further inland in Balochistan are the plateaus and deserts rich in minerals. Towards the east are hot, dusty plains and the dunes of the third desert. As you move towards north, you will come to farmland and orchards lush with crops. Still further north, you will see green, colorful valleys with towering snow-capped mountains in the background. There are beautiful lakes and fast-flowing rivers. All these different types of landscape show how interesting and varied life is in Pakistan. The climate and landforms of a particular place have a great influence on many aspects of life like occupations, food, dress, entertainment and income. This is why in Pakistan there are so many different kinds of people who have different lifestyles speak different languages, have different customs and different features. Here you can see some pictures showing different occupations of people living in Pakistan. Here you can see some pictures showing famous foods in Pakistan. Pakistan is a land where great civilizations such as Indus Valley Civilization existed in the past. In some places, there are buildings or remains of buildings that remind us of our history and our ancestors. They help us to learn about our past, which still influences our culture and traditions. 
In a modern city like Islamabad or Karachi, there are many fine new buildings. These remind us that Pakistan is a developing nation. When we travel in an aeroplane, a train or a car, we are reminded that Pakistan has a modern communication and transportation network that can transport us to any part of the country or the world. Although we are still a mainly agricultural society, improved communication networks mean that even remote areas of the country are accessible and informed about national issues. Continued development of rural areas is an ongoing priority for our government. Many people are beginning to have improved access to education, hospitals, clean drinking water and job opportunities. The growing population means that there is increased competition for job and that more skilled professionals are needed. Highly educated professionals such as doctors, teachers, IT specialists, accountants and engineers are in demand here and abroad. A more educated population requires more job opportunities and the government tries to provide these by investing in the different employment sectors. This is done by improving infrastructure like roads, transport links, etc. Investing in the industrial, agricultural and government sectors and authorizing commercial building projects like hotels, malls, cinemas and other layer centers. The CPAC China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is a fine example of how Pakistan is playing an important role in promoting international trade as well as building its own economy. The CPAC is an international transport route which will directly link Gawadar port Pakistan to Xinjiang in China. It was started on June 22, 2013. Its estimated cost is $46 billion. Gilgit Baltistan Gilgit Baltistan is a beautiful mountainous area to the very north of Pakistan. It is home to K2, the second highest mountain peak of the world. People in this region speak many different languages including Shina, Burski, Balti, Khwar, Waki, Gujari, Ladakhi and Damaki. The Baltit fort in the Hunza Valley dates back to 8th century. You can find more details about Gilgit Baltistan on page number 40 of Atlas book.